Howdy class. This short demo is just going to review the math package. And the math package gives us uh, a lot of functions and special values that we've already used a lot in our coding, especially uh, you know, as early as uh, uh, the second month of CompSci 140. We were using the power function and possibly even the square root function. Those all come from the math module. We may have also used the math module's pi constant in our previous coding, just by calling math.py once we import it. And uh, so we already have a little bit of exposure to the math uh, package. Now there's no lab in this, this is demo only, just to kind of give a, a good rundown of what's available in the math package. Um, it's really broken down into two things. One are either special values or certain functions. And those functions are also broken down into you know, numerical, uh, trigonometry, uh, quite, quite a number. So we'll see those in, uh, in a second. Now the special values that are supported are uh, pi and e and tau, but also infinity and not a number, which sure look weird, but those can be coded to actually support um, you know, various operations. Uh, you can test if a value is greater than infinity or less than infinity, and it'll evaluate to true or false just using simply math.inf. Uh, you can also use math.-inf for negative infinity. Um, and here's just simple code to print out what these constants are. There's pi, there's e, there's tau, which is two pi, and, uh, and the others. Now, one trick is to not only um, import the math library here, you know, the entire package, but another trick is to import um, uh, these specific special values and rename them. So you can give them your personal name here, and let's call it PIE instead of PI, and run this, and we'll see that, um, that it's still going to run. Oh, let me, get, let me get this run. There we go. And there um, we can import pi and we can rename it to something customizable. So in our case, we'll use PIE, how about that? And from then on, PIE will represent math.py. So it's just a binding. You can customize your binding however uh, you'd like there. Now, uh, those are the special um, constants that we get or special you know, numerical declarators. Uh, all of the rest are uh, going to be a variety of functions. So let's start uh, uh, this first section here in general numeric functions. Now we've already seen things like power and square root before. I've got those listed here. Um, but there are, um, there are ceiling and floor values that will round either up or down to the nearest integer. Um, again, this will always return an integer. But if the argument is a float, um, it's just simply going to round up or down to that nearest integer. Ceiling will go up to the ceiling. It will go up to the next highest integer. And floor, that method will go down to the floor, down to the next lowest integer. And there's some sample output there. Now, rather than crafting your own function that will calculate a factorial for you and return um, that value, Math has got that built in. You just simply provide the integer argument and it will give you the factorial of that. So here's some sample code that does just that. I'm gonna print out math.factorial, give it a 15 for the argument. And of course, what gets returned is 15 times 14 all the way down to times two times one. And then just to spread the number out, I'm gonna print it out there with some comma separator. So I'm calling the, uh, uh, the dot format function for that. A uh, greatest common denominator will return the uh, greatest divisor of the two arguments. So between the numbers 153 and 18, um, the greatest number that evenly divides into both of these is nine. If the numbers have not much in common, well then the Output shifts to a one here, and you can see, okay, the greatest common denominator between these is one, meaning they've got just nothing in common. Okay, absolute value, we'll return that absolute value. FABS is the function name. 
Now we've used power before, but um, we haven't used um, exponent. So exp will simply uh, return e to the power of y. And the exponent function takes in y as its argument. So it'll just return uh, e to the y. So here for a, uh, e to the zero is gonna print out a one. This is gonna be e to the power of six. And then this one here will be e to the power of minus four. Now there's also a ton of logarithmic functions. Um, there's base two, base 10, the logarithmic base, the natural logarithmic base, and then any customizable base that you'd like. So if you just want the regular natural log of a number, you can just call math.log and put the number in as the argument and it'll return uh, the natural log of that number. Now that's the math.log function. Math.log can also be used to create that customized base. So rather than base 10 or base two or base natural log, uh, here I'm using base five. So counting in base five, 150, um, it'll give us that, uh, that value two, I'm sorry, five to the what equals 150. Then base two log, we can use that with math.log2 here. And then finally, log 10, math.log10 gives you all of those numbers. All right, and then finally are the, uh, the many, many, many uh, trig functions. And these are uh, mainly centered around sine, cosine, and tangent. Um, there's also the hyperbolic versions of those and the reverse version of those, um, but the cores are, you know, sine, cosine, and tangent. Uh, the arguments are always radians for this, not degrees, but radians. And then uh, a couple of other uh, trig functions there are degrees and radians, just to convert back and forth between degrees and radians, and you can see there uh, the conversion factor that I've got listed here. So here's some sample code that just goes through, and it shows how you can uh, apply these various methods using uh, uh, arguments such as 180 divided by pi. How do we code that? Well, we just do 180 divided by math.pi. Makes it quite, quite easy there. All right, and this was just, again, a, a super quick rundown of the math package. And, um, and uh, there's much more to it, but these are mostly uh, the commonly used ones and certainly the ones that we'll use in our beginning uh, uh, exploits into Python. All right. Thanks for joining everybody.